So, let's start. Number 10, Stone Man Syndrome. Imagine waking up one day and finding out your body has decided bones are the hot new fashion trend and it's going all in. That's the nightmare of Stone Man Syndrome, officially called Fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva. It's one of the rarest conditions on Earth, and it basically turns soft tissue into bone. Muscles, tendons, and ligaments all slowly ossify until the body becomes a living statue. The process usually starts in childhood with what looks like simple bumps or lumps under the skin, but over time, those lumps harden into actual bone. Joints lock, movement becomes impossible, and the skeleton essentially grows a second skeleton on top of itself. Patients eventually lose the ability to walk, lift their arms, or even open their jaws. It's as if the body is saying, why stop at one skeleton when you can have two? There's no cure, and surgery makes it worse. Cutting into the tissue just triggers even more bone growth. By adulthood, many people are frozen into immobility, trapped in their own bodies, it's terrifying because it's not fast, like some sudden disease, it's slow, creeping, and unavoidable, you're alive, aware, but slowly calcifying like a fossil in real time. Only a few hundred cases exist worldwide, which means most doctors never see it. But for those unlucky few, it's a lifelong horror story of slowly turning into a statue. Ancient myths about people turning to stone, like Medusa's victims don't sound so mythical anymore. Number nine, tree man syndrome. If stone man syndrome wasn't enough, here's another one that sounds like a bad fairy tale, tree man syndrome. Officially called Epidermodysplasia verruciformis, this condition turns the skin into a breeding ground for bark-like growths, caused by a mutation in how the body handles HPV, the same virus behind warts, it results in massive, uncontrollable lesions that look exactly like roots and branches sprouting from the skin. The most famous case is Abul Bajandar, a Bangladeshi man whose hands and feet were so covered in growths they looked like tree stumps. Doctors removed over 11 pounds of warts in multiple surgeries, but they kept coming back. He literally couldn't feed himself, dress, or hold objects because his hands were swallowed by these woody masses. The condition is so visually shocking that patients often end up in medical journals, news headlines, or unfortunately traveling freak shows in the past. But the reality is brutal pain, infections, and complete loss of independence. Imagine trying to scratch your nose when your hand is more oak branch than flesh. Scientists have found it's caused by a rare genetic defect that makes the immune system unable to fight HPV. So the virus runs wild. Treatments exist, but they're temporary. The warts always regrow, sometimes even worse. It's one of those conditions that looks so surreal you'd think Hollywood makeup artists invented it. But no, sometimes nature writes the scariest scripts of all. Number eight, alien hand syndrome. You know those moments when your hand does something stupid like dropping your phone on your face while scrolling in bed? Now imagine your hand not only acts without your control, but it feels like it belongs to someone else. That's alien hand syndrome. Caused by brain damage often after strokes, surgery, or trauma, this condition disconnects the part of the brain that controls voluntary movement. The result? One of your hands becomes independent. Patients report their rogue hand-grabbing objects, unbuttoning shirts they just buttoned, or even slapping themselves in the face. Some describe it as having a mind of its own, and disturbingly, it really feels that way. One woman with alien hand syndrome said she had to physically sit on her left arm to stop it from choking her in the middle of the night. Another kept finding her alien hand undoing work her normal hand had just done like opening drawers she had just closed. Imagine living with a prankster roommate who happens to be attached to your body. The condition inspired horror movies, comedies, and even the phrase Dr. Strangelove Syndrome after the film character whose gloved hand kept saluting uncontrollably. There's no cure, and therapy focuses on retraining the brain, but many people spend years fighting against their own rogue limb. Possession stories might not be demons after all. Maybe it's just your nervous system glitching out and turning your left hand into a mischievous little goblin. Number seven, exploding head syndrome. The name alone is terrifying, but don't worry, your head won't actually explode. Still, exploding head syndrome is one of the most horrifying sleep disorders out there. As people drift off to sleep, they suddenly hear a massive explosion inside their skull. 
It sounds like gunshots, fireworks, or a bomb going off in the room, except none of it is real. Sufferers wake up in terror, convinced something catastrophic just happened. Some hear loud crashes, screams, or even static blasts like a blown speaker. Others see flashes of light with the sound. And because it usually happens right as you're about to fall asleep, it turns bedtime into a horror ritual of waiting for the next imaginary detonation. Doctors think it's caused by a misfire in the brain as it shuts down for sleep, like your neurons glitching and firing all at once. The good news, it's not physically harmful. The bad news, it can ruin your life. People develop insomnia, panic attacks, and paranoia, terrified of sleeping because their brain keeps staging fake Michael Bay action scenes. It's rare, but for those unlucky enough to experience it, exploding head syndrome feels like living in a haunted house where the ghosts are inside your skull. Number six, foreign accent syndrome. Imagine waking up from a nap and suddenly speaking in a French or Scottish accent you never practiced. That's not a TikTok prank, it's foreign accent syndrome, a real neurological disorder where people develop entirely new accents after brain trauma, strokes, or even migraines. It usually happens because of damage to the language centers of the brain. Your rhythm, pitch, and pronunciation shift just enough that you suddenly sound like you're from another country. One woman from Arizona suffered a stroke and woke up speaking with a thick British accent. Another Australian woman started sounding like she was from Ireland after jaw surgery. Neither had ever lived in those places. At first, it's kind of funny. Friends laugh, strangers ask if you're visiting, but the longer it lasts, the less humorous it gets. Imagine trying to explain to your boss that you're not joking, your brain just rewired your speech patterns. Many sufferers feel isolated, mocked, or accused of faking. Some even stop socializing because they can't stand the constant questions about where they're from. There's no guaranteed cure, speech therapy can help, but often the accent never goes away. So you're stuck with a permanent foreign identity, not because you studied abroad, but because your brain had a meltdown. It's like your neurons decided to give you a free language pack, but only halfway installed it. Number five, walking corpse syndrome, Kotar's delusion. This one takes the zombie apocalypse and turns it inward. Cotard's delusion, also called walking corpse syndrome, is a rare psychiatric disorder where people become absolutely convinced they're dead, rotting, or missing organs. They can move, talk, and eat, but they don't believe they're alive. Patients describe smelling their flesh decaying, insisting their hearts don't beat, or claiming they have no blood left. Some lie in bed waiting for burial, others wander cemeteries because they belong there. One case involved a man who refused food because dead people don't need to eat. Another insisted she had no brain inside her skull, just emptiness. The syndrome is linked to severe depression, schizophrenia, or brain injury, but the exact cause remains mysterious. Brain scans show abnormal activity in regions that handle emotion and reality perception, basically short-circuiting the feeling of being alive. It's horrifying, not just for patients, but also for families. Imagine your loved one looking you in the eyes and calmly explaining they've already died. Treatments like antidepressants, antipsychotics, and even electroconvulsive therapy sometimes work, but not always. Walking corpse syndrome is the closest thing to becoming a literal zombie without Hollywood makeup. Except instead of eating brains, you're just absolutely certain you don't have one. Number four, fish odor syndrome, trimethylaminuria. Here's one that sounds like a playground insult, but is tragically real. Trimethylaminuria, nicknamed fish odor syndrome, is a rare metabolic disorder that makes people smell constantly like rotting fish. No matter how much they shower, brush their teeth, or use perfume, the odor seeps out through sweat, urine, and breath. It happens because the body can't break down a compound called trimethylamine found in foods like fish, eggs, and beans. Normally, enzymes neutralize it. But in people with this condition, it builds up and leaks out, announcing itself to everyone in the room. Imagine showing up to a first date or job interview while radiating dead mackerel. The social consequences are brutal. Many patients develop crippling anxiety, depression, or isolation. Kids are bullied mercilessly, adults lose jobs and relationships collapse. It's not contagious, not deadly, but the psychological damage can be devastating. There are some management strategies, strict diets, special soaps and supplements, but no cure. At best, you can tone the smell down. 
At worst, you feel like a walking fish market. It sounds like the setup for a cruel joke, but for those who have it, life is an exhausting struggle against an odor they can't escape. Sometimes the scariest conditions aren't the ones that kill you, they're the ones that make you live every day in humiliation. Number three, fatal familial insomnia. What happens if you literally can't sleep ever? Fatal familial insomnia is one of the rarest and most terrifying genetic conditions known. Passed down in families, it strikes in middle age and begins with insomnia that worsens until sleep becomes impossible. At first, patients notice restlessness, vivid dreams, or short naps, but within months, they're unable to sleep at all. The brain sleep centers destroyed by prion proteins simply stop functioning. The result is total sleep deprivation, which doesn't just make you tired, it causes hallucinations, paranoia, dementia, and eventually organ failure. The average survival time after symptoms begin? About 12 to 18 months. There's no cure, no treatment, nothing that forces sleep. Sedatives don't work, sleeping pills don't work because the very wiring for sleep is gone. Families that carry the mutation often live with dread, watching relatives succumb one by one. Some even refuse to get genetic testing because they'd rather not know if their clock is ticking. Imagine lying in bed, night after night, completely awake as your body slowly shuts down. It's hard to imagine a more nightmarish way to go. Sleep is supposed to be safe, comforting, restorative. For these patients, it becomes the one thing they can never have again. Number two, alien parasite hallucinations, delusional parasitosis. Not every terrifying condition is physical. Some are purely in the mind. Delusional parasitosis is a psychiatric disorder where patients become convinced bugs, worms, or parasites are crawling under their skin. They scratch until they bleed, bring samples of lint or scabs to doctors, and demand exterminators fumigate their homes. The sensation feels real, itching, tingling, and crawling. Patients describe watching insects burrow beneath their skin even though none exist. Some gouge themselves with knives, tweezers, or chemicals trying to dig the imaginary pests out. It's so convincing that sometimes spouses or family members catch the belief too, a shared psychosis called folie à deux. Treatment is difficult because patients often refuse psychiatric help. After all, they know the bugs are real. But in reality, it's the brain misfiring creating tactile hallucinations that feel indistinguishable from the real thing. It's one of the darkest conditions because it traps people in a nightmare that can't be proven false to them. Imagine trying to sleep while being 100% certain worms are crawling through your bloodstream. The terror is endless and the scars, both physical and psychological, run deep. Number one, Harlequin ichthyosis. Finally, one of the rarest and most visually shocking conditions on Earth, Harlequin ichthyosis. Babies born with it have skin that hardens into thick diamond-shaped plates with deep red cracks in between, making them look almost like they're covered in armor. But it's not protective, it's deadly. The thickened skin makes movement nearly impossible, distorts facial features, and can even pull eyelids and lips inside out. Because the skin can't regulate moisture or block infection, newborns are at extreme risk of dehydration and sepsis. In the past, most didn't survive more than a few days. Thanks to modern medicine, some patients now live into adulthood with intensive care, daily exfoliation, constant moisturizers, antibiotics, and specialized diets. But the condition remains brutal, painful, and life-limiting. For centuries, these children were seen as cursed or monstrous, sometimes abandoned or hidden away. Today, awareness has grown, but the horror of the condition itself hasn't lessened. It's a reminder that sometimes the human body writes its own horror stories. No monsters required. Thank you for watching and sticking till the end. We've got plenty more videos coming in the future. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them. See you in the next one.